Hello and welcome to another episode of Damon's Tabletop Terrain. On today's episode, uh, I'm going to show you how I painted up a squad of uh, 10 halfling snipers by Victoria uh, Miniatures uh, in the Praetorian style. So kind of like the British soldiers in the film Zulu with the pith helmets. And so for a while now, I've wanted to make a few uh, of my squads in my Imperial Guard. Um, I wanted to make them in the, in the style of this Praetorian Guard with the white armor and the, the cool pith helmet style and the, the blue pants and the, the, the white armor and spats. Uh, I thought it was kind of a cool look. And... Uh, the, uh, the next squad that I wanted to work on was a squad of rattling snipers. And um, I, I wasn't too keen on the older models uh, that are currently through Games Workshop. Uh, you get five, I think they're, they're metal. And quite nice detailing, but they're a little bit old. Need to be uh, re-sculpted, I think. And um, so I was looking for some alternate models and Victoria Miniatures uh, do a really nice set of <clears throat> uh, snipers that they call their halfling snipers. And these are uh, really beautiful detailed uh, models. Uh, they're made with uh, Sciocast, which is a kind of a new type of plastic that a lot of these uh, smaller miniature companies are kind of switching to. And uh, um, uh, so for uh, 44.99 you get a squad of 10 which is enough for two squads of five obviously in 40k and I went with the uh, pith helmet heads which you can buy separately for 8.99 for 10 and uh, I really like the look of the alternate heads that you can uh, use on these models and uh, the instructions uh, are really nice and easy very simple um, there's only uh, you only really have to connect the um, the uh, the bodies um, to their individual bases, and uh, um, it's just, they're just really nicely sculpted models. Uh, here are the models, and um, very little prep work was needed. Um, the mold lines were minimal and really nicely detailed. So I did wash them because I, initially I thought they were kind of a resin. And um, but I'm, you probably don't need to do that with these, but I did anyway. So I washed them with soapy water, rinsed them well, dried them off well, let them air dry for a while, and then I primed them with wraithbone spray. And uh, as you can see, the detailing on these heads um, is really, really nice. Very, very nice models indeed. And so uh, initially, I went with uh, contrast blood angels red. Um, I realized I did the pants in red when they should have been blue, so I did go over the pants with an ultramarine blue later on. Uh, for the flesh, the hands, the feet, and the face, I went with uh, Gulliman uh, Flesh Tone. And I uh, kept the heads on the sprue uh, for painting. Um, so my eyes are not the best. Uh, I'm sure you can do better. Um, which is just a, a, a white <coughs> layer of paint with a dot of black. Um, and this is Gilliman flesh that's been washed over with uh, a very 50% um, uh, diluted uh, wash of Agrax Earthshade. Um, and the pith helmets were Agaros Dunes, which is a contrast paint. I wanted a kind of a camel colored look for the pith helmets, not straight white for these, but uh, this gives a pretty good um, effect. And so I did go with the ultramarine blue contrast paint for the cuffs and the legs. And on the rifles, the initial wash was done with contrast basicalum, uh, basicalum gray. And that gives you a pretty good basic and very quick and easy to do metallic look. And then you can touch up various regions with other colors afterwards. Um, so you could do lead belcher on certain parts if you wanted to. Um, iron breakers are kind of a, a nicer, brighter uh, metallic that you could put on there, as well as other colors. Um, I did go with Militarum Green on the hand grenades and um, the main sort of stock part of the rifle. And I also used Contrast Black Templar on the muzzle, the scope, um, 
in any other areas that I felt needed uh, black. Um, leather bands and pouches I did with snake bite leather, which is a very nice contrast paint. Um, any brown areas or wooden stock areas uh, I did with gore grunter fur, and that gives a very nice wooded look after you've washed it. Uh, the trim of the, the jacket, uh, the buttons and the collar were all done with retributor gold, which is my kind of favorite go to for a gold uh, paint. Very nice metallic uh, paint. And um, for here, uh, he had a, a glass bottle in his pouch and uh, the, uh, the sniper on the right here had some goggles. So I used some Way Watcher Green just to give that a nice kind of glaze effect. And then I use, uh, it's a Vallejo uh, Earth Brown paste uh, for the basing. Gives you a nice textural um, uh, a, a, a base that gives it kind of a muddy look. And then just give it all a wash in Agrax um, Earth Shade. And uh, for the brown on the wooden uh, box here, I used um, the Gore Grunter fur again. And then I gave certain areas like the feet and the hair another good wash of Agrax Earth here just to try and bring out the, the hairy feet um, uh, look of the, uh, the model. And then after that, uh, just uh, paint the, um, uh, the, the rims of the bases in uh, just straightforward black paint. And uh, you've got something that you know, looks pretty good on the table, if I say so myself. Um, obviously, you could do some extra highlights here and there and do a little more fine detail to make them even better looking. Um, but I'm pretty happy with them. And so I, I, I hope that uh, uh, some of you may, may do these Praetorian style um, miniatures for your uh, army. I, th I think they're a great looking sniper team for your uh, Imperial Guard Astra Militarum armies and um, thanks again and um, if you like the video please like and subscribe and I'll continue to do more videos for you. Uh, enjoy the uh, remainder of your day. Thank you.